Hoy en Seven Drums os traemos a Ciros. Hey man. ¿Qué tal? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Y nos va a explicar pues unos ejercicios que tiene para nosotros, para Seven Drums. I had a great honor to come here to uh, to Spain uh, a couple of days ago to go to Tam Tam Drum Fest in Seville. It was amazing, and at that festival, I did this exercise kind of with um, with the audience and also with the translator to show a good way that you can um, practice your creativity when it comes to fills and to push yourself out of your comfort zone. So to start with, um, my approach for drumming is pretty simple. If you want to summarize it, it's basically three parts. There's understanding and choosing and performing. So you need to understand the uh, possibilities that you have, all the things you could play. And that has to do with subdivisions and time signature that gives you all the, all the potential things that you could play on the drums. And then you have to be a good musician, that's the second step. And you have to choose the right thing to play for the music or to get the right kind of sound that you're looking for. And the third part is performing. So obviously you want to be able to then play this that you came up with and play it well with good groove, good timing and all of that. So I have this exercise I love to do at my clinics and also when teaching lessons that is a great way that summarize, to summarize all of this and practice it in a fun way. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna break this exercise down for you guys so you can try it for yourself at home. So it's very simple. You start with picking a time signature and a subdivision. So we can start with, we'll, we'll keep it simple. We do a uh, four, four time signature and we'll play 16th notes. So 16th notes means we have four notes per downbeat. And since we have four downbeats in a bar of four, four, we have 16 notes in total, four times four. So that's the first step of the, this exercise. Get a number for the amount of strokes that you can play, the total amount of strokes available for you. So now that we have the number 16, let's break that down into smaller numbers. And usually then when I do this like at the clinic, at Tam Tam, I just ask the translator, give me a random number between one and eight, for example. So I want you to just pick a random number. So let's, for example, um, let's try seven and five and four. That's seven plus five is 12 plus four, 16. So uh, the point of this is now you pick some random numbers and then you assign strokes to those numbers. You put meat on the bone, so to speak. And the idea here is to do it pretty quickly. Don't think too much. Don't um, try to play things that you normally do, because the point of this is to play things that are hard for you or uncomfortable or weird to push you out of your comfort zone. Um, but uh, I'll just take some example here. So the first number was seven. So let's do um, One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then we had five. So the tricky part here is to remember all of this. So seven. Okay, and then we have a five. And so again, this is, I'm doing this now for the first time, this exact combination. So I'm gonna mess up, but it's gonna be fun. And that's part of it. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, I ended with my left hand. So the five, we can do one, two, three, And then we have four at the end. So we can do, um, keep it simple at the ending. And we can end with a crash on the one in the bar that follows. So now we try to combine this entire thing and we have, uh, let's see. That would be the seven and the five and the four all together and that gives us 16 notes. So now the challenge is um, when you're doing this, it might be hard to hear how this is a fill or like what the timing is. So in your head, just go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, or whatever subdivision you're doing and try to figure out and be able to hear where these notes land in relation to the pulse. So let's do that together. Let's do one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. and so on. And you bring this up to tempo. Let's see if I can do it. Ah. 
So you, you already have to take your time. Now I'm, I'm rushing through it a little bit, but take your time with this and experiment and see if you can put it together. So You get the idea. So sit down with this, have a lot of fun with this, try different subdivisions, try different time signatures. You could do like 16th note triplets, for example, you know, six notes per downbeat. One, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. And you can do a bar of um, five, four, uh, five, four time signatures. So then you have five times six, now you have 30 notes. You break that 30 down into smaller numbers, you pick the, what the things you're gonna play, and again, do it fast, just go through it to push yourself out of your comfort zone. And uh, this is a great way to challenge your understanding with the time signatures and the subdivisions, challenge your creativity with choosing what to play, and also then the last part, which I might need to work a little bit on, is to actually play it and do it well, play it in time with the groove and really nail it. So that's a really fun exercise. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you, Seven Drums, for, uh, for having me. And uh, yeah, I've had a great, great time here in Spain. I hope to be back soon. Peace.